What's happening guys? So today's vlog is JD Gym's Leeds North and I'll show you. This is the North Gym. This is like with the oldest JD Gym's but it's now been referred so it looks a bit different now. It's um, They've transformed the burn room into the calisthenics bars and they've added the uh, platforms for deadlifts and thin press and all that in that section so it seems they've got rid of the burn room. Last time I came here, I couldn't remember where the boxing bags were. I don't think they were in at the time. Um, so hopefully by now, they should be there. Because I remember when Kirkstall first brought their JD gyms, when they first um, opened their JD gyms, they didn't have boxing bags at first. But obviously they do now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see uh, where the boxing bags are in here. And then I'm just going to do a similar workout to what I've been doing all week. Um, so yeah, JD gyms leads north. Uh, best JD gyms in Leeds. You know what I mean? It, it, yeah, best. I'd say it's the best JD gyms in Leeds. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting in there. Uh, the gym closed at four today because today is Christmas Eve. So um, yeah, let's get a move on. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Later. View of the gym. So that's the building, and the entrance is just down this section here that I'm walking down. Um, yeah, it's a 24 hour gym as you saw on the sign. Uh, yeah, entrance. That's the entrance. Right there. You guys in there?
yeah, hands down the best JD juice in Leeds. Yeah. And I'd say it's one of the best. You see, that is what that is what you call we've referred the gin and we've ended up making it better. You know what I mean? Like they got rid of the burn room, but what they replaced it with, as you can see in the clip in my videos, where the boxing area is and the, the, the bars and everything, that used to be the burn room. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah, best best JD gym to me, it's best JD gym to culture. That's what you call a refurb and getting it done right. You know what I mean? So yeah, five star review for me. You know what I mean? This is a gym I would say come to it. I mean, if you're in the area, if you don't live too far, like those of you who live in York, for example, this gym isn't that far from York. You know what I mean? So, it's worth trying out this gym, seeing how you feel about it. Because the way it was laid out before was still good, but, like, Bradford could have done this, you know what I mean? Because the Bradford gym is probably about as old as this one, or maybe a little bit slightly newer. So what, they, what this gym did with their layout now, Bradford could have done that and could have been, you know what I mean? They could have, because this, this gym, so this gym had a burn room, right? Had a burn area and they traded it to put all what they put in because the, the bar area was an older layout and it was in the middle of the gym floor and the running track, well not running track, the, the sledge track was in a different position to where it is now. Yeah, now now when you see what you've done, <laughs> no, I mean that's this this is this gym knew what it took to improve it, even though they made a sacrifice. They made a sacrifice, and it paid off, in my opinion. Um, so everything's much better now. More, it's more modernized now. So it, this gym is on par with all the new JD gyms that are getting that are getting built around the country. This gym's on par with it now, whereas this gym was like the oldest one, pretty much. One of, one of the oldest ones. I think I think it was. I, I don't know which town got JD gyms first, but over here, this one was the only JD gyms that was around. Um, and obviously, it's it's blossomed and they're all over now. And. For, for the refurb that they've done to this, to say this was the, was the old, well, is the oldest JD gyms, they've now made it on par with the new ones. So now it's up to you, the likes of Bradford, Salford, um, Batley, even Huddersfield, to modernize some of their equipment. You know what I mean? I would say Bradford more than anything. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I'm, uh, it's been my favorite vlog this week. You know what I mean? Because uh, obviously last night I did Bradford and then the night, night before I did Batley. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing Castleford. What? But I think what I'll do is, um, cause really and truly, really and truly, there won't be that much for me to get on footage because I've got a load of footage already. Re realistically, with a Castleford one, I wouldn't even need to go to it. I could just do what I did with the Leeds South one and the Huddersfield one and the Stoke one just compile clips together into a mini little vlog um, so I'm still in two minds whether to do that because I've got more than enough footage from Castleford really um, to do that and so I'm thinking I might just do that and then go to Sheffield South which would not tomorrow tomorrow's Christmas day but the uh, shoes there was meant to be Castleford at Boxing Day but I think I might go Sheffield South instead and um, what I'll do is maybe later on tonight after I've edited this vlog and uploaded it, what I might do is um, compile clips together from the Castleford one and just um, just upload that because I do have quite, quite a, I have enough footage to make a small vlog from it. You know what I mean? So yeah. Anyways guys, thanks for checking out this vlog. Check out the JD Jim's Bradford vlog. It's up already. So go check that out. Um, this vlog will be up today's Christmas Eve so it will be up tonight uh, if not it might end up on there tomorrow I don't expect to put your Christmas on pause to watch me train in this gym but it will be up there for you guys for you guys to see anyway anyways guys catch you guys in the next vlog peace